Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing good. I look so far away. Let me fix this. Uh, I need better lighting. Better focus. Go. There you are. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad to see you guys here. So today is Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there and the single mothers. So let's get ready for this video. So today I got different things from TG Maxx. I got a five minute moisture booster mask. It was on the clearance for a dollar. I must be getting rid of a lot of products in order to get new products because they always do that. My five minute moisture boost pack is from Sanctuary PA Covenant Garden. It's supposed to help protect your face. It's supposed to give you a boost of hydration to revive thirsty skin, especially if you're like really dehydrated and you've been out of the sun a lot and your skin tends to dry out. So the five minute moisture, moisture, moisture <laughs> boost mask is gonna help a lot with that too. It will help you make your face nice and moisture. So all you wanna do is wash it, make sure your face is nice and clean and wash it. I done it last night. So I had washed my face and my face was already, my pores were open because I took a hot shower so I did it right afterwards. It's the best time to do any type of masses with your pores all open. Um, you want to massage it into your face with up circling motion and you want to leave it on for like five minutes then rinse it off or you can use a, um, what is it, a microfiber towel almost forgot it the name for it and gently wipe it off or if you need that extra boost you can also wear it overnight because it's um not dehydrating it's very hydrating but that's only if you need an extra boost like if your skin's like extra dry you can leave it on and then you rinse it off when you wake up you can get safe to use for one to two times a week. It's for all skin types. So as you can tell, I have like no makeup on. So let me, I have like acne skin, but I have this weird thing. I don't know what this is. My face is oily and shiny. And sometimes it's dry like a rough slush around my piercings. It gets nice, it gets dry. Sometimes it's not. Um, Sometimes my face is dry, sometimes it's not. It's very, I have combination skin. It's like a little bit of everything, but it's for all skin types. So if your skin's super oily, super dry, you have a lot of acne, you have a mixture of both like I do, um, open pores, small pores, it's for anybody and everything. So it's really good. Um, I used it last night. Um, I left it on for five minutes. Uh, it felt very moisturized. The only thing, it's okay. I like it. It's very, my face feels moisturized even now. This morning, it feels nice and moisturized. Oh. Um, my hair looks crazy. I put, I took my hair out of braids. No, it look, looks weird. Um, the smell smells okay. It's not overbearing. It's not like too fra fragrant. Fragrance. I can't talk this <laughs> morning. Not bad of a fragrance with it at all. Um, it's in a cream format. I'll show you a little bit of it. It's like a cream, cream lotion, and it's not too thick. It's a little thick. It's easy. So you can easily spread it on your face and like really get it in your skin. And you just leave it on for like five minutes. Okay, right, guys. So the next thing I got was this moisturizer. It was only for like, okay. So the next thing I got was this moisturizer. It says yes to cotton. I was really weird about getting something that has cotton in it. Just because we use cotton for fabric. So it was it's a little weird to me. Um... So what I got, it's yes to cotton. It protects and minimizes, minimizes irritation. So you have like your skin's irritated. It helps reduce that. 
but also it's for like ultra sensitive skin it's also for allergy prone skin i have really bad allergies so with the pollen owl from it's florida we rain a lot it's either really hot or it's raining and my allergies are off the roof with it so this is going to help a lot with that it says it's a comforting facial moisturizer so i'll read you what this says it says cotton act thunder it's about rain again um so kana extract it nourishes conditions and protects ultra sensitive skin and then the condensate oil it is a protective skin softening oil it says keep calm cotton on i'm not making that up <laughs> so it's supposed to help give your skin a nourish subtle soothe skin um it's supposed to help with moisturize my face feels so moisturized i mean i did do that mask last night the only thing I have with this, you literally came palm it. I feel like a Jeffree Star moment. You can't. And this is brand new. I just opened it last night. It still had its stickers. It had every product. Like, everything it came with. So when I unsolicited it last night to use it, it's just this. It's literally only just this. Like, how is this supposed to pump from that? And it smells cottony, if that makes sense. Like, if you get cotton flavor, like waxes or candles, that's what it smells like. But it's not overbearing like those are. And you have to do this. It's super thick. I got it on me. It's super thick. Like. Real thick. So, how is it gonna come out when there's nothing else like a tubing for that? Which I thought was weird. Let's put out all my fingers. Extra moisture to help me protect me from this rain. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, it feels thick. I feel like I just put it on lotion on my face because of the thickness. So, I don't know if that's a pro or con for anybody. I like my moisturizer kind of thick, but not too thick like this. So, I don't know how well this is going to go. I feel like I'm putting on lotion. Um, it feels okay. It feels lightweight. It really does, even though it is thick. Um, it's 98% not half. Blah, 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 blah. It has about 98% natural ingredients and it does not have a lot of ingredients listed I mean it does kind of actually have like that much ingredients but it's all natural ingredients I mean it's okay I guess I have to like try for like maybe a month and see how it really does with my skin. I have, if you guys don't know this, I am super sensitive to products. I, but I can't even use all face wipes, like face wipes, cleansing wipes. I can't use um, charcoal cleansing wipes. I can't even use regular makeup wipes. There's so many in the ingredients for that stuff that I can't use. I have to be very careful. Even some products, face products, I have to be careful. So I try to go more with all natural because it works better on my skin. I also found out certain shampoos, conditioners, sh and soaps also break me out sometimes. So I have to be careful. So if, if it works on me, it's going to work on you if you're super sensitive. But it also depends on what you're allergic to, too. Because not just... Because it works on one person doesn't mean it works on another person. And I've learned that from my field of cosmetology. So, my last thing I got, because I got three things. My last one I got is some makeup wipes. I got these. These are all natural ingredients on there, too. Well, is it all natural? I think 
it has a few you know you those big words you can't even tell what they are there has some of those so i'm not sure but it has it probably has like maybe 50 percent off all natural ingredients so this is an aloe vera extract from nature's nutraceuticals it's makeup cleansing wipes it has vitamins a c and e and it's for all skin types so again all skin types can use it and it says that nourish skin while removing face and eye makeup even waterproof mascara this formulation helps to condition and soothe skin it leaves no greasy residue and is hypoallergenic allergenic aloe vera is a short cactus like plant that grows in hot dry regions it extracts has long been prized for its health and beauty benefits aloe vera help reduce fine wrinkles around the eyes which is good because I'm about to be 25. Yeah, I'm about to be 20. <laughs> I'm about to be 25. So I'm all about the anti-aging and helping with the wrinkles. So I can have more of a youthful looking skin. I already do, but it's always good to always keep your skin nice and healthy and also looking its best too. Um, it says it's enzyme energy properties help maintain collagen of the skin and also help stimulate collagen formation to restore skin suppleness. In addition, aloe vera is a good moisturizer and an emollient as it helps hydrate the skin. Use it to stimulate and beautify your skin and body. It's pH balanced, it's hypoallergenic, and it's not tested on animals. I should have looked at the other ones. Dang it. Let me see. I'm looking to see if all the other products are like that too. It doesn't say they're not tested on animal. Oh, this one is on um, the five minute mask that I got. It's against animal testing and it's paraben free. It's dermatology tested, natural fragrance with plant extracts and essential oils. So we're good on the five minute mask. And let me look on my moisturizer. I should be using my reading glasses for this. It says with love from California. Oh yeah, it has the symbol, so it's not tested on animals either. So if you don't know with products, if they have like a little bunny, I don't know if you can even see this, but there is a little bunny here. It means it's not tested on animals. And then it says it's recyclable and I have 12 months to use it before I have to throw it away. So I'm going to post the video of me taking it, my makeup off with the makeup wipes from today right now. So this is an all day wear. My face hasn't moved too much. I've also been in the rain a little bit today too. And it's been hot, so it's either rainy or it's hot. It's Florida. We have both. It's crazy. So, you guys ready to see the makeup wipes in action? Yeah. I like putting my hair up. And just for when I'm doing my makeup or when I'm taking it off, so it's all my way and it won't get wet. Heavier on. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this and we so that way that's not in the way either. So we're gonna take a makeup wipe. This is my first time trying these, so let's see. Just opened it. Let's see. The wipes are a little thick. This is what they look like. So let's try it. They don't smell too bad either. There's barely any fragrance. So when you take your makeup off, you want nice light strokes. So the product doesn't really feel like too heavy or greasy or oily. It feels nice and light and clean. The 
I'm not rubbing my face too hard either. Cause it'll look wrinkled. I'm still using only one side for my whole face. Alright, so this is what my face looks like right now. And this is what one side of it looks like. So we're going to take the other clean side and see if I get anything else off. Well, so far my face feels really clean. Doesn't sting or burn, so that's always a good sign. Especially with such sensitive skin. So I'm really happy for how it's doing. And it looks like it's taken a lot of the makeup off too. And I don't have to struggle as hard as like you can't do with some of the makeup wipes. So that's always a plus. And my skin looks really good still. And with the makeup wipes, because you know sometimes when they get irritated, like your skin gets irritated and red, or it looks like a little dull afterwards, this doesn't. It looks, my skin looks perfectly fine after the, all of this, despite all my acne scars, getting over a bunch of zits and pimples from, men from menstruals, acne. Make sure underneath my no ring gets taken off. Alright, that's one makeup bite. Face feels still feels moisture, moisturized. Looks like it takes out all of that. All of my makeup. Looks really good. My face feels really clean. And moisturized like it said it will do hey guys I just got done cleansing my face so I'm gonna show you guys the moisturizer and the review on it I'm gonna do the review on a five the five minute mask like on my skin later on in the week when I do it again since I done it last night and I want to do it again and I didn't think about doing a review so I'm just patting my skin dry from cleansing it so I'm trying to get less irritation okay so we're gonna use the yes through cotton like I said you can't pump it at all it's doing nothing so we're gonna have to unsolicit it And get tap a little bit so we get a little bit of product it is thick so it's gonna move a lot more move spread a lot more spread move it does the same thing so only a little bit it's thick and it's a little sticky if you do it this way <laughs> um, so otherwise there's barely any fragrance which is good for ones who are sensitive to fragrance stuff so we're gonna lightly move it around on my face and I like to tap it my moisturizer I don't know about you guys but I like it we're gonna also put moisturizer down on the neck and grab a little bit more So we're going to take a little bit more and we're going to tap underneath the eyes to make sure they're nice and much as too. Alright, so my face feels soft, like super soft and 
doesn't burn or anything so that's always a plus because a lot of times it should not burn your face products should not burn at all neither should your this is burn the kidney okay your face products should never burn never burn because if it's burning it means you're allergic to it with some severe even if it tingles it burns a little bit now with tea tree oil and anything with peppermint those might tend to tingle a little bit tingling is fine burning is not um let me take my hair and you always want it to tingle and never burn um so it's not burning here's a close-up after i moisturize the lighting's probably like horrible for you guys um uh, feels soft doesn't feel heavy even though it's a thick cream does not feel heavy at all it feels very lightweight um i like it so far and i never didn't think i would like something with cotton in it so hopefully it take help heals a lot of this i do know can say though my face has gotten a little whiter maybe just because it's getting its skin um moisture back and it's balancing because that's what it also helps with even with the wipes so i think it's helping a little bit so far so i won't see like a full result of it until like a month so maybe in about a month i'll go back and make another video and tell you like an update on how it looks and feels and overall how well my skin has improved from the moisturizing moisturizer and also from the five minute moisture mask which i'm going to try to do once a week and then also the wipe because those are supposed to be really good for you too and helps with the skin. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my video and all the reviews. So if you guys want any reviews on any products, let me know and I'll try to get my hands on them. And the more I get products, the more I will give you a review on them. So guys, that's it for this video. Peace, love, Korean heart. Bye guys. Have a lovely, beautiful day.